It'll be the Knicks off the tip. And now the Lakers starting group. Kobe and Randall, the forward duo. Lewis Williams out there with Jordan Clarkson. And it's Hibbert in at the center position. And he gets the bucket. A room service dime by Jose Calderon. Hey, guys, Porzingis was almost a rookie last season, but he opted to pull out of the early entry and wait a year for this past summer's draft. Seems to have worked out for him as far as how his draft stock has changed. Clarkson kicks to Randall. Just five on the clock. For three, Kobe. Ruffalo pulls it in. Now the Knicks with it. Defeated by the Wizards in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. And probably expected to win that game, and maybe that caused them to come out a little flat. Just a bit of complacency. You know, I'm not sure if they were taking them lightly. I, I think they just didn't play well. I mean, that happens sometimes. You've got to give the other team credit, too. Now here's Williams. Aaron Afalo missing his last shot. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Greg, you're right with Porzingis. It made sense for him to wait one more year. Clark has a lot to learn, but still comes over, a, you know, as a much talked about player, a much better player than had he declared last season. I agree with you, yet he'll still need time to develop, but all the ingredients are there. He's got a chance to be a really good player. Yeah, the Latvian had a great shot for his height, and it'll be an interesting stretch four in the NBA. Good call. Your heads up aggressive play right there. Saw the smaller man on him and took it straight to the basket. Hibbert with a screen on Anthony. Bryant drives in. That's good. Kobe's got his first bucket in this one. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. And here's Anthony for three. A rebound by the Lakers. Tough loss coming against Cleveland in their last game play. Probably their poorest defensive effort all season long. I mean, at home, that kind of D is not going to cut it. Never mind when you're on the road. Hey, I don't know, guys. This may be all speculation. Perhaps they had a bad flight into town the night before, and we all know a rough flight in can lead to turbulence on the court. The Knicks have gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Los Angeles has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Shoots from the elbow. Kobe, no good. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. Outside Anthony, pass to Calderon. Back to Anthony. Three-pointer. New York, no good that time either. And the Lakers with possession here. Clarkson with the ball. Here's Williams. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. Exactly. The defense determined not to allow the easy layup right there. They'll settle for making him earn the free throw. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And, and you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. As a matter of fact, a lot of his points came from the strike. He was feeling it. You know, he's been one of those players they've wanted on the line as much as possible this season, especially in close games, guys. And Williams drops them both. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. A follow outside. Here's Porzingis. He's defended by Randall. Feeds to Calderon. The pass to Porzingis. Six on the shot clock. Misses off the right iron. The defense better not make a habit of giving him that shot. I mean, he doesn't miss many of them. Here's Hibbert. That's in, coming off an assist from Bryant. Hibbert's got his first two points of the night. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. Lopez a screen. Trying to get back on track. 
deep two from Anthony. The good-looking shot from the wing. And, and his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need one. Now here's Randall. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Follow against Williams. I'm deep. And the rebound goes to Lopez. There are going to be times, I think, when it's okay to take a shot like that, but, but not on that possession. Well, when would the times be, partner? Well, I'll get back to you later. The only <laughs> excuse for a shot like that is if you're trying to beat the buzzer. That's the only time you can justify it. Now here's Kobe following the miss by Carmelo Anthony. And Bryant kicks to Clarkson. It's rebounded by New York. They came away with the victory in their last meeting, which, by the way, was also in this building. And that last one came right down to the wire. The difference for me being the impact they got from their bench. Really such a security blanket, Greg, when you can count on that second unit to step in and provide key minutes, especially when the game is in doubt. And off to a strong start offensively. He's got a nice touch. And Bryant kicks to Randall. Back to Kobe. Anthony with the block. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. And the call will be against Julius Randle. That's his first foul. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, err on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. That should have been a block, and it was. Calderon kicks to Anthony. Passes to Persingas. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Persingas has got his third bucket of the night. Yeah, there's got to be some defensive help there. I mean, the size difference is just too great. Just trying to get a break in the action to clear some heads here. I mean, they've gone ice cold, and, and not a bad idea to give them a little quick breather. Yeah, they needed the timeout here. Anything to try to get them to forget about the missed shots and, and get themselves back on track. and the top rebounding shooting guards of the past 10 games. Fifth best, Kobe Bryant. And these are sort of your do-it-all guys. I mean, even if rebounding isn't necessarily a priority for shooting guards, it's still something that helps the, your team get wins. Absolutely. When your two guard can squeeze the orange like that, as each of these players on that list can, it can be a major X factor for you. Kevin Serafin is checked in for Robin Lopez. And then for the Lakers. Robert Sacre, he's checked in for Hibbers. Young comes in for Williams. And it's Russell in for Clarkson. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. And for Kobe Bryant, how difficult was last season? Starting out strong, even though the team Greg around him wasn't very good. But then everything, including Bryant, fell to pieces. And when you're a competitor the way this guy is a competitor, you can't stand to lose. So you push your body to the limit to avoid that. But what happens at age 36 when you've got the kind of miles that Kobe Bryant has, you know, you just can't go it alone. That's why Kobe lasted only 35 games. You know, you go back to Kobe Bryant. He pushed himself so hard last season, though his points per game average was up. Field goal percentage was the worst of his career. Just felt he had a better chance to score than anyone else on the team. And it's real hard to argue that he was wrong about that. And guys, you know Kobe Bryant. Words can't describe what he's meant to his team, really to the league in the game of basketball. You just wonder when he's finally going to say, you know what, 
I've done all I can do. That's enough. R retirement's been hinted at, but until I see it, knowing how competitive Kobe is, I just won't believe it. Last season, Kobe with some thoughts on the development of U.S. players last season felt that the AAU system, Clark, was problematic. And I would not disagree specifically in this regard. Too much focus on playing games and winning versus skill development. The Lakers in the lead. And stolen by Williams. There's Galloway. 14 points from him the last game against Washington. And don't forget about his playmaking in that game either. I mean, he did a great job of attacking the D and creating opportunities for both himself and his teammates. And with Kobe, who's just so skilled, that, that critique holds water. Kobe felt that Europeans came into the league with more of a skill set because they learned how to play the game a little bit more collectively than the American players. Anthony kicks to Galloway. A follow outside. Picked by Williams. There's the dish to Serafin. And the bucket counts, and he's on his way to the free throw line. Try to make it a three-point play. You know, for, for Kobe's statement, it, it's hard to measure something like skill with metrics. I mean, you, you look at shooting and free throw percentages, and, and there isn't too What's much up, of a gentlemen? difference between U.S. And, and European players. The Knicks making a switch here. Grant's checked in. That free throw good from Serafin. Here is Bryant. Seven points in the game. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Yes, Kevin. Kurt Rambis and I had a chance to talk for just a bit. Obviously, he has a lot on his plate when it comes to defending against Kobe Bryant. I asked him what he might do, and he said not much. He's one of the league's all-time best scorers. And no matter what you seem to do, he finds ways to get on the scoreboard. Kobe might be seeing a lot of double teams here tonight, guys. Thank you, Doris. Just four to shoot. Yeah, real nice shot selection there. I, I guess he's working on his buzzer beater form. That's a reach, but perhaps that is the case. Or maybe, maybe he was trying to knock a bird off of the scoreboard. He's <laughs> <laughs> about right. Because I still can't figure that one out. No, no. I see no birds up there. No. And another <laughs> lead change here. How many of these are we going to have tonight? I'm not quite sure, but I'm willing to bet it'll be more than a few. Here's Grant. Kevin, let's take a look here to see where the Lakers rank in the NBA. 11th and fewest turnovers per game. 12th in free throw percentage. And you know what? They're also in the top half of the league in scoring second chance points. Um, there's room for improvement there, but I don't think they're too disappointed with what they've done in that area so far. Gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. No good on the free throw. Kyle O'Quinn is checked in for Kevin Serafin. Good on the second free throw. Now here's Kobe. 17 points for him last game against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. Here's Young. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. You can see he just rushed that a little bit. Lost the focus, I think. Anthony with it. He's picked up by Russell. Anthony against Russell. Pocket six. 
Anthony up on top. He's guarded by Russell. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Los Angeles has gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. There's a screen. Young outside from deep three-point range. No good. And New York the other way now. Outside Anthony. He kicks to Galloway. Grant gets a wide open look and the foul on Kyle O'Quinn. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, no doubt about that one with the over the back call. Yeah, it looked like he wanted to take him for a ride right there. Easy call. The Lakers shooting just 35% to start the game. Anthony against Bryant. 153 left here in the first quarter. Pass with the screen. Five on the clock. Ryan passes to Russell. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Los Angeles shooting their fifth and six free throws of the game. And I think this is a strength of this team. Solid numbers at the line across the board, 77% collectively. And guys, that's really an upgrade over how they shot last season. Not a huge upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. No luck that time either. And the missed free throws starting to be an issue. Yeah, they're scuffling at the line. Struggling is a better way to put it. But you like the fact they're getting there. Now it's just a matter of knocking them down. Here's Anthony following the bucket by the Lakers. Charity stripe shot. And the shot no good. A bit short. We got a narrow edge here in rebounding early on. You wonder how much that'll play going forward. Yeah, it's a game of inches, and every play counts. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's why we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. Here's Grant after D'Angelo Russell's bucket. Galloway with the bucket. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Now here's Bryant. He has seven. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Kobe's got nine points. Well, that's simply a great move there, Kevin. He dusted off the defense and got to the cup for the easy basket. Now the feed to Galloway. Young with the steal. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And that one's good. And it's a six point Laker lead. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from inside the paint area. 
there's got to be a wall of defense when it comes to attacking the paint. Plain and simple. Now here's Williams. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Shot clock at six. A wide open look here for Anthony, kept alive by New York. Here's Grant. And the release was before the buzzer, but it's off target. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Lakers lead by six. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. to hear from former number two overall pick Derek Williams about his focus offensively. Just getting to the basket more, you know, being able to finish with the defender in front of me, I think getting to the line a lot more as well. You know, I think, you know, getting to the line and, and, and finishing at the basket. Two huge improvements for him. Drake, can he do more? Uh, definitely. Uh, he's already taken a big leap forward, and there's plenty more room for him to grow. He could become a real beast in this league. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And taking a look at the Lakers' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing in the game? Not much room to operate offensively. The defense has been stifling through the first. Greg, they haven't given up a lot of easy chances at all. So on the floor for the Lakers to start this second quarter, Clarkson is out there with Williams, and it's Young, and it's Roy Hibbert, and it's Randall in at the four-man position. Knicks trail by six. A follow outside. This is the Bujicic. Out left to the wing. Some nice passing by New York here. And Hibbert with the block. Now here's Clarkson. Tight defense on him. Williams against Calderon. It's Williams with the drive. It's hauled in by Jose Calderon. One thing about Jose Calderon, you could see the frustration in him last season playing a career-low 42 games, and his averages were down pretty much, Greg, across the board. Yeah, and, and Kevin, he was brought in to kind of invigorate the Knicks' point guard position, but following a preseason calf injury, you know, he missed the team's first 13 games and, and never was able to really get going. Remember, coming into a new system where he had to learn how to play differently. And then after all that, you know, you have to shut him down because of that left Achilles. That free throw missing. And getting back to Jose Calderon, he'd been an extremely efficient shooter for a point guard, 48% from the field throughout his career. But last season, he couldn't hit it at all. I mean, he dropped down to 41%. He hits the second from the line. And, and you know, on the topic of Jose Calderon, his game is predicated on getting others involved. Last season, he had Carmelo Anthony to throw it to, and, and really pretty much no one else. So defenders could key on him a little more, causing him, I thought, to become just a little less efficient. Now, here's Clarkson. He's coming off a 22-point game against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. Yeah, but I also thought the rebounding was impressive. He got some huge boards in that game. Knicks trail by five. Just to Persingas. No one near him. And the foul called on Kevin Serafin. That is his first foul of the game. Christos Porzingis. The assist. Lakers leading by three. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Here's Clarkson. An easy two points on the layup. Clarkson's got his first bucket of the night. And that's what he does. I mean, he is a bucket getter. In the corner, Aflalo with it. 
rebound by Young. Lakers have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. Over to the left wing. Here's Clarkson. No good. So New York will take it the other way. They'll be off to Brooklyn for a meeting with the Nets after this one. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for it. Vujicic's shot is off. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting for the game at 42%. Now, here's Clarkson. He's guarded by a follow. And that one good from Clarkson. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. Calderon has the open look. Nailed from three-point land. Calderon's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Kicks to Randall. It's Young on the wing. He feeds it to Clarkson. It's rebounded by New York. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Calderon dishes to a flalo. Calderon kicks to Bujicic. Out to the right wing. Five on the clock. Pass to Calderon. There's the triple. And again, New York with the triple. These defenders had better start closing out on those shooters. That's two in a row, and we call that a streak. Now, here's Clarkson. D right on him. Can't hit the step back jump shot. And that was a difficult shot from mid range simply because the defense was engaged. Yeah, and I think the quickness of the closeout really threw him off. Here's Vujicic. He dishes it to Serafin. Tries from 10. And off the front iron, and in it goes. Serafin's got eight points. Mark, eight lead changes now, and we're still just in the first half. You know, both teams showing a lot of resilience, I think. Coming back and coming back, back and forth, back and forth. Reminds me of a song. Yeah, Kevin, that's cameo, uh, to be exact. And I'm not sure I've seen a game with more lead changes this early. What do you do with that guy? With his handles, he abuses defender. Down low, it's tipped and stolen by Hibbert. And now here comes Williams leading the break. Feeds it to Clarkson. Lets it go from deep. But they'll get another chance. From the arc. And Nick Young, the bucket on the assist from Roy Hibbert. And it's a four-point Los Angeles lead. New York's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Holderone passes to a flower. Here's Przingis back to a flower. The pass to Serafin. Rebounded by the Lakers. Hibbert's got his fourth rebound in this one. Now Clarkson. Six points for him. For just the fourth time today, it is good. That one makes him four for ten. And that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. A flalo dishes to Calderon. They set the screen. Offensive rebound. Brzingis can't hit. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Clarkson kicks to Hibbert. Comes up empty down low. There was just enough defensive pressure to get him off balance and cause that shot to go awry. Pass to Persingas to halt the run. That ball's nice speed this time from Jose Calderon. Calderon's got five assists in the game.
right here, Kevin, we can get a look at New York and what kind of numbers they've put up these last 10 games. Fourth and fewest turnovers per game. Seventh in rebounds. And they're in the top third in the league in blocks. They're a team that really doesn't give many good looks. You know, and I go back to the, their low turnover numbers. It's not one of those stats that jump out at you, but trust me, turnovers kill you. And their ability to limit their mistakes has been huge. Catching up on the changes for New York. Lopez, he's checked in for Kevin Serafin. Williams comes in for Perzingis. Anthony's checked in for Sasha Vujicic. And Langston Galloway subbed in for Jose Calderon. Now here's Williams. He's coming off a 28-point game against Cleveland. Yeah, but Kevin, a lot of those points came at the line. I mean, he was aggressive to attack the D, not settling, and really did a good job of cashing in on those free throws. Lakers leading by four. Outside Bryant. They set the pick. Shot off the pick. The shot is off. And New York the other way now. And Robin Lopez, last season, he missed about six weeks with that broken hand. But freak injuries aside, he's been pretty durable over the course of his career. Had played in all 82 games the previous two seasons. And he gets it to go. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. That's got to be job number one right now. Nothing easy on the inside. Now here's Anthony. He had a 33-point outing in their last game against Washington. Boy, was he physical. I mean, in that game, just drawing a lot of contact and getting himself to the line over and over. Clock is at three. Here's the three. That one goes. Count it. Anthony's got five now. Maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot the D can afford to give him. Williams kicks to Sacre. Bass with the screen. Sacre passes to Kobe. They set the pick. Lakers passing it around. Lopez with the steal. Here's Galloway. A look at his stats. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Williams against Anthony. Galloway kicks to a Aflalo. Three on the clock. Elbow shot is on the way. Galloway, no good. Lakers leading by three. The dish to Bryant. Fires from 18. Again, the Lakers. And that's just showing off right there, guys. I mean, he is too good with that crossover. Got a piece of it. Williams with the steal. Russell dishes to Williams. Bass with a screen for Williams. And Galloway pulls it down. And he's trying to shoot his way out of it. You know, they have the lead, but honestly, I, I think it might help if he'd be a little bit more selective tonight. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for the Lakers. Well, I think the defensive aggressiveness on display here has caught him off guard, playing airtight defense and coming up with the steals. And the other thing they've done well is they've run the shooters off their sweet spots. They've really closed out well and forced them to put the basketball on the floor. Yeah, too many easy buckets coming from inside, and I think he wants to make that a point of emphasis. I would certainly think so. I mean, if they keep giving up those kinds of easy looks inside, they'll be in big trouble. second to recognize the rookies who have been doing a terrific job distributing the basketball this past month. D'Angelo Russell fourth. And he's been setting the table beautifully. I mean, that'll keep his veteran teammates really happy. Greg, he's a fantastic facilitator. I mean, just makes everyone around him better with the willingness to play unselfishly. Well, it's been a great month for him. Grant, he's checked in for New York. Knicks trail by seven. Pick by Williams. Grant the pass to Williams. Outside Anthony. Fires from the line. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different 
if he'd shot the ball anything like he's capable of. Here's Kobe, again the Lakers. Kobe is knocking down some nice looking baskets. New York's gone three or four with the long range bombs here in the second quarter. Lopez, his shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten in the first half here. And I think they should continue to work the ball down low, Clark. It's really going to free up their outside shooting. There's a screen by Williams from outside the arc. Russell, no good. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think they need to continue to press that advantage. They've got to get back to that. Don't go away from that. It's been working so well for them. Stay with them. And when they've gone to him, he has come through big time. You got to keep getting him touches. A minute 20 left here in the second, and he gets it to go. And that's now seven points for Carmelo Anthony. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision-making for them offensively. Absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding, and they're piling up the assists. Now here's Kobe, 17 points in the game. Outside Williams, clock at four. No good. And New York the other way now. Not a quarter to remember as far as his offense is concerned. Yeah, you know, he's not making any kind of impact for them at that end of the court right now. Lakers leading by seven. Outside, Russell. Back to Williams. He kicks to Russell. The feed now to Sacre. Dishes it to Bass. That's in, coming off an assist by Kobe. Kobe's got three assists in the game. New York shooting at 36% on the night. They've got to step it up offensively. Williams, a screen on Russell. Releases from 15, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. You start hitting a few of those mid-range shots, and it can open up your whole game. And here's Kobe, one of the dependable scorers on the team. He's averaging close to 17 points a game. And so we conclude the first half. Los Angeles on top, up by seven. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Hey, Kevin, I've got Jose. And what is foremost in your mind going up against these guys tonight? They know how to play. So that's where we got to give in the second half and trying to execute a little bit better, try to play even better defense. And, and that way we can you know, keep working on this lead. I think we are a really good team. We can beat anybody. Nice confidence, Jose. Thank you. Kevin? Thank you, Doris, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for the third quarter of basketball. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. Ernie Johnson here alongside Kenny, the Jet Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. We'll be looking back at the game's first half. Some incredible work in this one by Kobe Bryant. He ended up with 17 points, three assists, and two rebounds. First two quarters from him were fun to watch. And taking a look at the Lakers, Shaq, what'd you think? The speed they're playing with has been fantastic. They're pushing the ball in transition and catching the defense. That's snapping, Ernie. Anyway, a huge chunk of their offense has come on the break. They've got a nice lead, but they shouldn't slow anything down. I say keep doing what you do. And Kenny, your take on New York. Percentage-wise, they were in the low 30s. That's right, low 30s from beyond the arc. That won't get it done. Every team in the league now relies on some level of consistent production from the three-point line. But if you dug yourself a hole and you aren't a three-point shooting team, that needs to change. And that's going to do it for now as the second half is just about to get started. Now back to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. We will see you later. the second half about to start up and begin any moment you look at Kobe Bryant in this game I mean he has been everywhere yeah he was in attack mode from the word go came out very aggressively in that first half take a look at his shot chart it looks like the ink spilled right at the rim no reason for him to settle for anything less
Lakers leading by seven. Porzingis is out there with Robin Lopez. Then there's Calderon. Then there's a follow. And it's Anthony in at the three, the small forward. That's the five to begin the second half for Kurt Rambis. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And who has been a greater enigma than Roy here with a guy who can look like an all-star Clark one game and an undrafted free agent the next? Yeah, it's pretty amazing the, the kind of swings Roy has had. He's been really good at times. Sometimes he gets in his own way with overthinking things, but I right, think now. he's got everything Take he needs to be Take an upper-tier center, upper-echelon center. Uh, just has lacked consistency the last year or two. And that one falls for Hibbert. And on the topic of Hibbert, he was an enigma in college, had a very encouraging junior season, looked like a future lottery pick, and, and then that uninspiring senior season, which kind of dropped his draft stock considerably. And Hibbert hits them both. You know, going back to Hibbert, last season was a perfect example of what we're talking about in terms of consistency. One game he puts up 22 and 8, the next game 2 and 1. But you know, every team in the league would like to be in the Roy Hibbert game once the light finally goes on and stays on. Consistency, the challenge for Hibbert. Now, here's Colderon. Lopez, no luck. Here's Kobe. There's the basket and make it a double digit lead. Kobe's got 19 points. Easy to see who's going to win that race. Yeah, early offense is often easy offense. Excellent work that time. There's the pick. Deep two from Anthony. Takes a big height bounce and goes in. Anthony's got nine points. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Well defended, though, and, and he's not someone who handles that kind of pressure very well. So far in the game for Anthony, he has nine points, and he's tacked on a couple of blocks today, too. And, and they've been important to the team. Even if it's only a couple, it's helped them establish a defensive presence inside. For New York, they have made three of their first five foul shots tonight. Okay, gentlemen, two shots, two shots. That free throw, no good. And, and right before Carmelo went down with the injury last season, it seemed like he had added the fadeaway to his game, molded a little bit after, after Dirk Nowitzki. And he's good on the second. Here's Kobe, 19 points in the game. Outside Williams. Right around a minute and a half played here in the third quarter. Pass to Hibbert. Leans. The shot is off. Good D by Lopez. Carmelo's reasoning was that he had been burned enough by Dirk's fadeaway. He had to adapt. That's a great fadeaway to borrow from for yeah. sure. I mean, Melo already has a mid-range game. Terrific mid-range game. And this shot makes that even deadlier. Now here's Anthony following the shot by Roy Hibbert. Shot clock at three. Count it in the Laker lead has been cut down to six in the bucket from Carmelo Anthony. Lakers have gone one of three since starting the second half. Kobe kicks to Randall. Pass to Williams. Hibbert with the screen. Three pointer. And it's Bryant missing. It has not been an ideal start to the second half. They've missed three of their first four. Anthony dishes to Calderon. Lopez, a screen on Hibbert. Off the pick. Anthony's shot is off. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics, um, at least as I look at it. Now, here's Bryant. Bryant is doubled. Here's Hibbert. Mix with the rebound. Brasingas has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Ooh, and this is turning into a slow start here in the second half. Seems like they left that offense in the locker room. Follow against Bryant. 
Here's Przingis. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle on a lot of contact shot, here. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. An 85% shooter there, and they've been able to count on him hitting his shots from the line. Guys, I like that this is a part of his game that has really been consistent this year. The Knicks making a switch here. O'Quinn's checked in. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Young's checked in. Good on both. Probably as close to a sure thing as you can have at the free throw line. Clarkson passes to Hibbert. Randall kicks to Clarkson. Outside Williams. Hibbert dishes to Clarkson. Down to five on the shot clock. On the money from 12 feet away. Clarkson's got 10 points. Knicks trail by six. Calderon kicks to Aflalo. The drive by Anthony. And he gets it to go. 14 points for him. The Lakers have gone two of six from the field here in the third. Here's Williams. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's on Aaron Aflalo. A lot of tough teams in this league, Kevin. Here's where New York sits right now. First in free throw shooting. Seventh in blocks. And they're in the top ten in fewest turnovers per game. And they really do emphasize taking care of the ball. And you look at their ranking. Tops in free throw percentage. I think it speaks to their focus and discipline as a team. They look to capitalize on every mistake. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? I mean, they've been perfect so far. Yeah, as cool as can be, Clark. Great focus and efficiency. That's how they built this lead. Now here's Anthony. He's got 14. With some arc. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Anthony's got nine points now in just the second half. Really strong rebounding on the interior, and he gets the easy put back. Young, right side. He feeds it to Williams. Fires from deep. That drops. Williams has got nine. Next trail by seven. Calderon kicks to a follow. Back to Calderon. Fires from deep. Hibbert pulls it in. Hibbert's got his sixth rebound on the night. Young with the ball. Now Anthony defending. Young outside. Kicks it to Randall. Out to the wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Hibbert with the screen. Here's Clarkson. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through that one. On its way from a follow for two. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Lakers leading by nine. It's deflected. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. 
Now here's Calderon. He's covered by Clarkson. Calderon passes to Persingas. And Hibbert with the block. And Young, here we go. That misses off the backboard. The spin freed him up, but he just couldn't follow through with the shot. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, that's right. The, Kevin, the offense has basically been running in place. They got to get going. Now, here's Calderon. He's got six, and it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, we've got a second, so we'll bring up a list of shooting guards that have been red hot at the free throw line over the past month. Aaron Aflalo is second. Kobe Bryant, fourth. We've gotten used to seeing a lot of terrific free throw shooters from the two guard ranks, but even so, it shouldn't take away from what these players have been able to do up there. Yeah, I don't care what their position is, guys. I mean, they deserve a bunch of credit for those numbers. Each one of them is just so clutch at the foul line. All right, now, take a break, take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Porzingis. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. Sasha Vujicic has checked in for New York. Grant comes in for Jose Calderon. Robert Sacre, he's checked in for the Lakers. Russell comes in for Lou Williams. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. We're seeing today what makes him one of the best free throw shooters among the league's big men. Beautiful stroke. Now, here's Clarkson. He's covered by Grant. Stolen. Now Vujicic. To the paint. Here's a follow, and that one's good. A follow's got his first bucket in this one. Defense left him just a little window to get through, and he just ducked in for the layup. Terrific job. Clarkson dishes to Sacre. It's blocked. They recover it. Clarkson kicks to Russell and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And let's see some numbers here on Aaron Aflalo. How's the last month of basketball been for him? Averaging about 15 points, three rebounds, and two assists. And just look at those scoring totals. He's been doing what he does best, putting points on the board. Absolutely. I mean, he has those real natural scoring instincts. The ability to find creases in the defense, just um, fantastic. All right, now, take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. A different look for New York. Kevin Serafin is checked in for Kyle O'Quinn. Williams comes in for Perzingis. And Langston Galloway subbed in for Aaron Aflalo. Brandon Basses checked in for Los Angeles. And so Russell hits them both. Knicks trail by seven. Grant with the ball. He dishes it to Vujicic. Feeds it to Serafin. Shot from 12. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. And you know, for Brandon Bass, such a big asset to Boston last year, and they're pushed to make the playoffs, especially after the Celtics had traded away several key veterans. His toughness, his strong mid-range game, that all helped.
let's see how the West is matching up. We'll take a look at the Warriors. They've got their eye on the number one seed as the season moves into the final stretch. Currently first place in the standings and guys showing no signs of letting up and checking out the Lakers right now quite a ways down below and I think for the Lakers their season has been exactly the kind of misadventure their fans were afraid it might be yeah it's been ugly I mean we knew things were going to have to fall in the perfect place for them to contend but nothing did Lakers leading by eight young outside That's good. He's five for nine. For New York, they've gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're six of 13 from the field here in the third. Vujicic kicks to Galloway. Six on the shot clock. Off the screen. The rebound by Sacre. Sacre has got his fifth rebound in this one. Now, here's Clarkson. 12 points for him. Inside. It's blocked. Here's Vujicic. Grant kicks to Galloway. New York moving it around. Puts it up from 12. Shot misses. Not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Here's Clarkson. No good. And New York the other way now. To the inside. Here's Grant. That's good. And so Galloway with the assist. Grant's got to back down to single digits for New York. Los Angeles has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And to look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Lakers. You know, I thought maybe they'd cool off a bit at halftime, but they've continued to bury the jump shot. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and Shooting scored two. a lot of baskets in transition. The first one falls. Robin Lopez is checked in for New York. The Lakers also with a sub. Ryan's checked in. And so Bass nails both of them. Knicks trail by 10. Grant outside. Williams in the post. He's guarded by Bass. Shots good by Williams. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting down near the 40% mark since after. They've been slow getting going. Here's Young. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Young's got 15. They're straying away from the three-point game here in the second half. That's fine as long as they're on the lead and they're getting good shots. They've decided not to take nearly as many three-pointers in this half. Kobe goes in. A quick shot there and it's off target. Clark, they've shared the load offensively. Yeah, they've done a nice job with it, Kevin. Everybody's touching the ball. There's a nice flow to what they're doing offensively. And guys, they put the defense on their heels. You can see right now they're trying to react. And that's what you want when you're in a rhythm offensively. And finished off by Bass. Maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable dunks. Yeah, and, and when he's got a lead like that, why not take a few chances? A lot more engaging and entertaining than just doing the old ho-hum one-handed. So it's the Knicks now. After the basket by the Lakers. Just five to shoot. Here's Galloway. Shot is off. Good defensive work there by Young. Lakers leading by 12. Inside. Out to the right wing. There's the pick. 
from downtown, and another three for the Lakers. He is just tearing it up this quarter. That lead's not going anywhere while he's this hot. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They got to find something. You're right. Williams. And again, it's the Knicks missing. I love the anticipation defensively there to get into the perfect spot. On the wing, Bryant. Bryant is doubled to the middle. Here's Bass. It's rebounded by New York. Seven second difference, shot in game clock. Williams passes to Grant, looking to end the run. Lopez, no luck. Los Angeles has gotten going here in the second half from outside, nailing three of four from the arc. And the pass to Bass. For three, no luck. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Lakers lead by 15. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. Thanks again for joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. Knicks trail by 15 and on the court for the Lakers to start the fourth. Kobe and Randall, the forward duo. Russell is out there with Williams and it's Hibbert in at the five spot. That is good. 21 points for Kobe Bryant. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle um, at their offensive end. Now here's a Flalo. Back to Calderon. Six to shoot. Steps back and fires. That one wide left. Lakers leading by 17. Russell dishes to Kobe. Picked by Randall, and Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Oh, great defense there. Anticipated the play and got there first. And not afraid to put his body on the line either, Greg. He took a shot for the team in that situation. Calderon kicks to a Aflalo. And Calderon gets it to go on the assist by Aflalo. Aflalo's got assist number five here tonight. Calderon's gone three for seven from the floor so far tonight. Russell against Calderon. Russell passes to Hibbert. Lakers passing it around. Randall with a screen for Kobe. Down low. Randall with a bucket. And an open path to the hoop there. Easy bucket. We've seen that far too many times today. Calderon passes to Persingas. Anthony down low. Working on Bryant. A shot by Anthony. No good. Los Angeles leading by 17. Outside Russell. Passes to Hibbert. Let's it go from 11. Here's Randall. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And one feels bad for the way Julius Randall's career started. I was there that night. First game of the season. Seventh pick out of Kentucky in the 2014 draft. Suited up for one game. Broke his right leg. 14 right, minutes Take in. And the Take guy that comforted him the most, Two I recall shot. very vividly, Kobe Bryant yeah. stayed with him the entire time when he was really in shock on the floor. He was. And unfortunately, for so many reasons, for one, he had really been progressing in, in the summer league. And the Lakers obviously had high hopes for him. And when he went down, that was the start of the rest of the ship kind of going down with him. And, you know, going back to Randall's rookie year, his troubles really started during medical checkups before the draft. They found a foot injury dating back to high school. The fifth metatarsal had been broken, which may be why he fell a few spots in the draft. 
The Lakers making a switch here. Clarkson's checked in. So he picks up just one from the line that time. And, and talking about Randall's rookie injuries, the Lakers were going to let him play through the foot. But once he broke the leg, they, they did season-ending surgery on the foot as well. Hopefully, now he can just stay healthy and get to play the game he loves. Here's Kobe. Aaron Afalo picking up that last basket. Clarkson kicks to Hibbert. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. There's the dish to Carmelo. And that comes off the assist by Calderon. Calderon's got his seventh assist here tonight. This guy will really make you pay if you leave him enough room outside. Dish is it to Randall. Right side, Williams. Hibbert with a screen on a follow. Williams. And the shot falls short this time. Not the best shot right there with a good defender draped all over you. I agree with you. I mean, not the shot they were hoping for, but he can really cause problems with his defense. Good little two-man action there, but they just can't get the shot to fall. Yeah, but that was a beauty. Good-looking shot, well-executed play. I wouldn't be surprised to see them go back to it. Now here's a Flalo following the miss by Kobe Bryant. Pass to Persingas. No one near him. And he knocks down the jumper. Yeah, that's asking a lot from that defender. Yeah, it certainly is. I mean, he just doesn't have the size to really be effective in that kind of matchup. Now, here's Bryant. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And the layup is good. And they are trying to put the hammer down, attacking the rim whenever they can. has some information for us Doris. Hey guys well Kurt Rambis had some advice for the team in that last break. He is not pleased with the score and implored them to try to make a push right now saying we don't have time fellas. If we can't make a dent soon I'll have to pull the plug. Pretty blunt Kevin back to you. Always great to hear from you Doris. Now here's a follow. He kicks it to Calderon. Looking for Anthony and gets it there. That's good. Anthony's got 21. And, and that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Lakers leading by 11. And here is Williams. It's Kobe Bryant on the way. To the middle. Stolen by O'Quinn. A follow outside. And he stuffs it. What a pass to set him up. They needed a run desperately, and boy, did they come up big. And you know, it wasn't just about getting hot offensively. Defensively, they've been stellar as well. Now here's Kobe. That doesn't go in either for Kobe. Now the Knicks with it. They're on a 13-5 run here. Now Calderon from deep. A follow, no good. Kobe with it outside Williams. A floater. It's rebounded by New York. Avalo's got three rebounds now in this one. Calderon dishes to Avalo. Outside Anthony. And again, it's New York. And they have gotten themselves back into this game just in the nick of time. If that run had come any later, it would have been Katie bar the door. 
<laughs> but Greg, they can't relax yet. I mean, they've still got plenty of work to do here. It's hard to believe this, but, but Carmelo feels as if he's been underrated as a superstar to this point in his career. And I'm sure there are a lot of conflicting opinions on that topic. Los Angeles leading by seven. For Carmelo, the numbers are there for him to be treated as a tier one star still, I think, Clark, but it's hard to call him underrated. Yeah, I think he'll be underrated until he's able to get to the championship round or maybe even win a ring. Um, there's one thing that's clear, though. He's been under a lot of pressure since he's come into the league, and he hasn't been underrated in that regard. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. Takes the three, and the call will be against Robin Lopez. That is his first foul of the game. For Los Angeles, they've gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth, four of nine. Hibbert with a screen on a follow. Hibbert kicks to Clarkson. The feed to Randall. Tries it from 19. Shot no good. And New York the other way now. Now here's Calderon. And a follow wide open. He shoots. And that comes off the assist by Calderon. Calderon's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. Outside Bryant. Randall with a screen for Kobe. Bryant is doubled. Clarkson kicks to Hibbert, and he gets it to go. Hibbert's got four points in the quarter. And, and really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Bryant against Anthony. Count it, and the Laker lead has been cut back down to six. They get the basket from Persingas. In that tight, with that much of an advantage height-wise, there's just not a lot the defense can do. Outside, Kobe. And he gets it to go. Kobe's got 25 points in the game. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Calderon kicks to a follow. Anthony in the corner. They set the pick to the inside. That is good, and the Los Angeles leads cut down to six in the bucket from Persingas. Well, they were sleeping on defense. The defense really didn't do its job. I mean, a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint, that's costly. And at this stage of a tight game, the tired legs really start to show. A defense becomes vulnerable if you can continue to pound it inside. Here's Hibbert, and the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And guys, looking at Roy Hibbert, just a mountain of a man. Listed these days at about 7'2", 290 pounds with a wingspan of a, of a pterodactyl. I mean, a true game changer inside when he's motivated and on his game. Anthony, the pass to Persingas. Anthony with the screen on Williams. Lopez, a screen. Five to shoot. Calderon, that's for two. Hits the front of the rim and out. Lakers leading by nine. Kobe kicks to Clarkson.
picked his pocket. And here we go, Calderon heading to the hoop. And it's sent back by Bryant. Pass to Clarkson. A floater, and the layup is good. And the Lakers lead by 11. Oh, terrific way to finish that move there, going to the basket. Calderon kicks to Anthony. Cannot hit. Nice D from Bryant. The Lakers have gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Randall with a screen for Kobe. There's the steal. Fast break, here they come. A follow, that's good. A follow's got 11 in the second half. And you can just see he's a different player since coming back from halftime. Kicks to Hibbert. From six feet and off the front iron and in it goes. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys too. Anthony. And it's Anthony again missing. Lakers leading by 11. And here we go. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Kobe's giving him lots of trouble. 25 points and a huge helping of assists as well. No doubt about it. He's the conductor, the band leader, Clark. And this offense has really performed at a high level. The first one falls. That one is no good. You look at the numbers for Robin Lopez, Clark, they won't blow you away, but his impact is a lot bigger. Exactly, Kevin. I mean, he's unselfish as a player, does all the little things. He's not focused on his numbers or shot attempts, and that's a welcome um, deal for coaches and teammates. He just wants to help his crew win. Los Angeles leading by 12. Outside, Kobe. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Lopez has got his seventh rebound here tonight. And speaking of the intangibles for Robin Lopez, he's great at boxing out for rebounds and, and setting screens offensively. Again, things that there really aren't stats that are kept, but those are ways you can impact the game. And those are the kind of plays that often go overlooked. No luck. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Lakers. Clark, their inside game was what secured them the win tonight. Yeah, Kevin, they had their way in the paint, and those are all high percentage shots. And it'll advance their win total up to 12 on the season. And after dropping game one in this matchup, they managed to take the second of a three-game season series. No question, that's a morale booster. And partner, it sets up what should be a fantastic finale to the season series. Uh, major bragging rights on the line that night. And while it's a team game, you can't win without guys showing up. And that was the case tonight for Bryant. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. Here is Bryant. Aaron Aflalo picking up that last basket. And Bryant kicks to Randall. Another steal. Calderon against Kobe. Feeds to Carmelo. And it's Roy Hibbert with the rebound. Oh, excellent interior D to force the miss. His defensive ability is a big factor. I mean, there's no denying that. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Kobe, tell us about the mindset of this team tonight and what you hope to accomplish. Just come out and play well. Just uh, play with a lot of energy. Execute well. Read the defense well. And make unnecessary cuts. 
talent and execution. Kobe, thank you so much. Guys, over to you. All right, Doris, great job. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. And as the fans file out of the building, now time to head over to Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith for the Post Game Show. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back, Ernie Johnson, along with Shaq and Kenny the Jet. Let's quickly move forward now to the presentation of our Jordan player of the game, Kobe Bryant. He had a tremendous first half, and that clearly inspired the whole team after halftime. Give him a big lift. What are your thoughts, Kenny? He shot over 50% from the field in the game, a testament to how hard he worked to always find the best look possible. He was in constant motion. He found those gaps in the D and made the most of his open looks. Look, how many times have we seen games like this from Kobe? He was the primary option. They needed a bucket, he delivered. His game has evolved in the last few years, but the recipe was working tonight. And that brings us to the end of our broadcast for this evening. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and our illustrious 2K Sports crew, this is Ernie Johnson saying good night, and we'll see you again soon, but not soon enough. <laughs>